the five biggest cybersecurity trends in 2022. Cybersecurity is evolving rapidly and is becoming one of today's most important technology areas. In 2022, we will see many new developments and advances. So here are some of the trends that will reshape cybersecurity in the coming year. AI-powered cybersecurity. Similar to the way in which it is used in financial services for fraud protection, artificial intelligence can counteract cybercrime by identifying patterns of behavior that signify something out of the ordinary may be taking place. Crucially, AI means this can be done in systems that need to cope with thousands of events taking place every second, which is typically where cyber criminals will try to strike. Research by Capgemini recently found two-thirds of businesses now believe AI is necessary for identifying and countering cybersecurity threats and nearly three-quarters of businesses are using or testing AI for this purpose. The growing threat of ransomware there were three times as many ransomware attacks in the first quarter of 2021 as there were in the whole of 2019. And research by PwC suggests that 61% of technology executives expect this to increase in 2022. Ransomware typically involves infecting devices with a virus that locks away data behind unbreakable cryptology and threatens to destroy it unless a ransom is paid, usually in form of untraceable cryptocurrency. Or alternatively, the software virus may threaten to publish the data publicly, leaving the organization liable to enormous fines. Ransomware is typically employed through phishing attacks, where employees of an organization are tricked into providing details or clicking a link that downloads the ransomware software, sometimes called, called malware, into a computer. However, more recently, a direct infection via USB devices by people who have physical access to machines is becoming increasingly common. Worryingly, there has been an increase in the types of attacks targeting critical infrastructure, including one on a water treatment facility that briefly managed to alter the chemi chemical operations of the facility in a way that, that could endanger lives. Other ransomware attacks have targeted gas pipes and hospitals. Education is the most effective method of tackling this threat, with research showing that employees who are aware of the dangers of this type of attack are eight times less likely to fall victim. The Internet of Vulnerable Things the number of connected devices known as the Internet of Things is forecast to reach 18 billion in 2022. One consequence of this is a hugely increased number of potential access points for criminals looking to gain access to secure digital systems. The IoT has long been recognized as a specific threat. Attacks that have been identified in the past include, include hackers using connected household appliances like fridges and kettles to gain access to networks and from there to go on to access computers or phones where valuable data could be stored. The Internet of Things is also getting more sophisticated. Many organizations are now uh, developing digital twins, so comprehensive digital simulations of entire systems or even businesses. These models are often connected to operational systems in order to model data gathered by them and may offer a treasure trove of data and access points to criminals. In 2022, we will undoubtedly continue to see attacks on IoT devices increase. Edge computing devices where data is operated on as close as possible to the point where it's collected, as well as centralized cloud infrastructure is all vulnerable. Once again, education and awareness are the two most useful tools when it comes to protecting against these vulnerabilities. Any cybersecurity st strategy should always include a thorough audit of every device that can be connected or given access to the network and a full understanding of any vulnerabilities it may pose. 
Cybersecurity as a key factor in partnership decisions. Any cybersecurity operation is only as secure as its weakest link, which means organizations increasingly see every link in the supply chain as a potential vulnerability. Due to this, businesses will increasingly use cybersecurity resilience and exposure as a determining factor in choosing who they will partner with. This is born out of Gartner's research, which predicts that by 2025, 60% of organizations will use cybersecurity risks as a primary determinant when, it, when choosing who to conduct with business with. With more legislation following in the wake of the GDPR, such as the Chinese uh, Personal Information Protection Law and the Californian Consumer Privacy Act, more organizations are at risk of potentially huge penalties if they make information security slip ups. This means every partner that has potential access to an organization's data or systems will be rigorously vetted. Businesses that aren't able to answer questions about their cybersecurity arrangements or ratings will increasingly be left out in the cold. In fact, Gartner predicts that industry standard security rating schemes like Security Scoreboard, Black Kite, or UpGuard will become as important to companies as credit rating agencies. Regulation starting to catch up with risks. For many years, cyber criminals have acted uh, with the knowledge that understanding, let alone policing, of their activities is weak due to the fact that the technology is changing all the time. With the cost of cybercrime to global economies topping $6 trillion in 2021, this, this isn't a situation that is sustainable. According to the Security Magazine, 2022 is set to be the year when regulators pull out the stops in order to get on top of this situation. One consequence of this could be an expansion of penalties that currently only cover breach and loss to also cover vulnerabilities and exposure to potential damage. Another may be an increasing number of jurisdictions passing laws relating to making payments in response to ransomware attacks. We could also see a growing number of legal obligations handed to chief information security officers in line with the responsibility of chief financial officers in an attempt to limit the impact of data theft losses and breaches on customers. While this will inevitably increase the burden of those responsible for information security in business, in the long term this will only be a good thing. Today, more than ever, building consumer trust is essential for organizations that want us to give them the, priv the privilege of access to our most vulnerable personal data. To stay ahead of future trends in technology and business, make sure you subscribe to my channel or check out my books, Business Trends in Practice and Tech Trends in Practice.